Good day everyone, I'm Dave, and today we're going to be dealing with bench grinders. We've been looking at comments, of course, people are always leaving, and one of the comments and one of the search things quite often is, how do you get the wheels off these things? And to get the wheels off, it's actually quite simple. First thing we have to do is get the two covers off both sides, and usually all we have is a couple screws around the outside. We're not too concerned about keeping the screws in order because they're all exactly the same. Once we get that off, the cover here should just pull right off, and we set that aside. It's always good, these little plastic uh, eye protectors. It's always nice just to pop them off as well. They usually just two quick screws on those, just because quite often with flipping this thing around, we're gonna bend it up, guaranteed. So we'll just pop off the two screws, and once we get them off, we'll just set that aside and then repeat the exact same process for the other side. These bolts are actually coming off quite easy because I have had this actually soaking in penetrating oil for a couple days. Anything with moving part like this, whether it's a table saw, circular saw, miter saw, bench grinder, same thing applies. We look at whatever the direction is the blade turns, or in this case, our grinding wheel. In this case, it turns down, which means 99.9% .9 of the time to loosen it, we turn the nuts in the exact same direction. Now, of course, with both of these both turning down, that means both of these nuts have to go forward, which also means one's right threaded, one's left threaded. So to get it off, I'll put a wrench on both sides, and I'm only gonna work on the right one for now, so the left one is actually gonna be held, and I'm just gonna push down in the direction of the rotation, loosen that up. Once I loosen it up, what I'm going to do is give it a quick little spray of oil and I'm going to put that nut right back on. Again, opposite. Now I'm going to work on the other side. Same idea, I'm pushing it in the direction of travel. So this one I'm actually is going to be tightening, the other one's going to be loosening, and I'm just trying to break that initial bond. Once I got that bond broken, there it is. Again, quick little spray oil. What I'm going to do is actually leave this nut off and worry about getting the second nut off. To get the second nut off, the only thing I can do now is jam this. So I jam it, a little wedge of wood, and just jam right down. Because I've already loosened it, I've already sprayed it, it shouldn't take much force to actually lock that in place. I can just put, put a bit of pressure on with my thumb pulling towards the, the wheel. Put the wrench onto it, and there it is. Took almost no pressure because I've already loosened it. So we just pop those wheels off. There's usually a plate on the front and a plate or two in the back. Sometimes people have multiple trying to bring it farther enough away. The wheels themselves, you can actually buy these wheels with bushings. You can put a different size bushing in here so you can find whatever you want. Some wheels, like especially some of the wire wheels and that, sometimes they have direction. They always usually have a maximum speed. So you always have to double check to make sure the wheel will work with your particular grinder and that you're not exceeding it. And to put it all back together, basically we're just gonna reverse the process. Thanks for watching. If you have any other thoughts, any comments, or anything you'd like to see in future videos, please leave us a comment. Otherwise, we'll see you next video.